Ladies and gentlemen, he fights to my right out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the multicolored rims. He stands 177 centimeters tall and weighed in at 70 kilograms. He comes to us with a professional record of five wins against only one defeat, one win by knockout and three wins by way of submission. Representing Wild East from Biala, Podlaska, Poland, please welcome Hubert Shimaida. Across the cage, he fights out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks with the white trims. He stands 183 centimeters tall and weighing in at a rocket ready 70 kilograms. He comes to us with two wins against four defeats, one win by way of knockout. He represents the MMA Fight Club, born in Ararat, Armenia, fighting out of Tour France. Please welcome Garik Shobabia. Instructions by our experienced referee Stefan Rueck. And we get the fight started between Garrick Shababian and Hubert Schumeider. Stiff jab to start the fight off by Shababian. Nice cross. Oh, very nice. Taekwondo oh, some, techniques. Some ninja, some ninja shit Very going nice. On by by Shababian. I think he knows that Hubert is actually a submission ace. He, he won um, five of his fights by chokes and a condon rear naked chokes actually. So I think he wants to keep that standing as long as possible. Yes. It's actually Shimaida's first fight outside of Poland. So we will see how, how he's going to fare in a strange venue. The striking looks not that crisp, so it, I, I'd, be, yeah. I'd be very careful about that one. Garrick Shababian being very busy in 2016, having all his fights in, in that year. It's actually his first fight, 2017. Oh. Very nice right hand by Shababian. Wild exchanges. I kind of woke nice up the Polish knee. guy. That was a hard knee, I think. I hope. I, I didn't see it quite now. I think it connected. Oh, I think I think Garrick is hurt a bit. Something something hit him. Ooh. Oh, that was an Andy Hook kick. Very nice, especially here in Switzerland. Oh, he faked. Oh, he, faked. he ran face first <laughs> into the cage. Oh, I like how he's doing. He, he wants he wants that win. I think he, he wants very it. aggressive. Calm down a bit. Garrick's still dangerous though. I think it's a wise move by Hubert to slow down a bit. Hubert Chimaida wants to send a message here. Oh, he lost his mouthpiece. There's not only the UFC in Poland, there's also other Polish fighters here fighting all around the world. Yeah, his striking looks basic. I think he'd, he should try to close the distance. That was actually a nice front kick. He's hunting him down. It's very dangerous, I think. Clinches up. Some nice turns by Garrick here. He, he, yeah. he, he shifted the movement of, of Hubert so that he couldn't take him down. He, he locks up some, some sort of a... But I think Hubert Shumaida should go for the takedown because uh, Garrick Shababian stands very tall. He's, he's a lanky guy, yes. He yeah. has long arms and long legs, so and, and Hubert is quite more, more compact. There is a stop. I don't know what happens. Oh, he did one not point. One point. I think he, it was repeated grabbing off the trousers of yeah. Hubert by Garrick. Yeah. That was a fast move by the referee, actually. You can only it. grab your own trunks and not the opponent's trunks. I like I like point deductions, I really do. Because if, if you if you let them foul over and over and over again and don't punish them for it, they'll do it, of course. Move. 
I don't like Garrick Shababian's mouth just being wide open. His movement actually went went from very controlled in the, in the first few exchanges to very uncontrolled here. He's spinning back. He shouldn't have done it because it, it wasn't controlled enough and he wasn't in the right distance. So didn't quite get why he did it. Hubert still on the run. He oh, very spin. nice. Now he has a choke locked up. Yeah. Watch for that. He's got the anaconda choke. Very nice. Anaconda choke. Takes him down with anaconda. the choke. Anaconda. Oh, that beautiful. That is... That was close. He's still grabbing the he's still grabbing the shorts. No? Don't know why. Kind of changes it to a guillotine. One. Oh wow! Nice Shababi just rolls him over. <laughs> that was actually quite amazing. So Gary has still some fight in him. Yeah. Easy move to side control for Hubert and full mount. That's it. Flawless transition, he can rain Flawless down is, he just, Shababian just let him go to mount. Yeah. What should Hooper do from this point? What, what do you think? I think he, he should... submission? I think he should just uh, get the distance and just start raining down punches. Or go for the arm bar, it's only 10 seconds left. Well, here comes the end seconds. of the first round. Exchange here. We, we actually saw a Hubert going forward and forward and forward for the whole round. He didn't stop, and actually, I don't think he's quite tired. And here you see it again: a oh. beautiful takedown with a with a anaconda choke. I Squeeze switches the neck. it to a high guillotine. I, I don't know why he couldn't he couldn't keep it. I think he was a bit over eager. He should have yeah. taken his time a bit yeah. more. But um, he's he's on a good way here, and uh, I'd, I'd give that round easy to Hubert, but. I think Garrick had a, had a good start. If he can even catch his breath and if he, if he can start striking again, he still, he's still in this fight. So. Referee Stefan Rieck gets things sorted out in the cage. And here we go to the second round. Very nice left hook there by Shimaida. Again goes for the front headlock. Ah, Garrick Shababian, nice turn here from, from the cage. Both fighters have, have their, their mouth open. I, I think, I think even, even Hubert is tiring a bit. Yeah. They're right in front of us. But it's quite clear Hubert Shimaida wants to wants to close the, the distance and work the takedown, and Shababian wants to stay on the outside here. But he has to get off, he's, he's gotta get his back off the cage. There you go, very, very nice. nice single leg takedown. He chained this takedown together, and he, he, he used the, mo the momentum. Very nice, oh! Uh, almost had Shababian on his back. Wow, now we're in a crazy crucifix position. Crucifix, sorry, yeah. Very nice. We hear the Polish instruction. I don't know what they say, but it's quite clear they probably mean punch his head. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the instruction for the Polish corner is quite clear. Yeah. Garrick does the right thing here. He turns his head towards. Oh, very the knee. nice. We go to the side oh, choke here. And now I understand something of the Polish <laughs> cornering. He says control, and I think that is a good a good cornering here. Yeah. Yeah. He has to control him here. He has so much time left. So. First, go for the control, then try to finish the fight. Because this is a very, very dangerous position for Gary. Yeah. yeah, he lost some point. Oh, wow! He Crazy like Shababian he just switched and went. How is that even possible? <laughs> wow. Well, that's a lack of control yep, by the Polish fighter. Absolutely. Should have listened to his corner. But again, Shababian on his back again. He's on his back again. And Shimaida working for either going to side mount or to the mount. I think he has both options open here. 
He slides his knee, his, his right knee actually up. Yeah, not quite. I think the Polish corner will, won't have a voice after this fight. <laughs> Some punches to the body to soften him up, to, to, to try something else. Punches to the head. I think he works for the arm Ooh, here. Something very nice. He like works for an Americana. Americana yeah. yeah, this could work. This could I actually work. But here. oh, he slips out again. But uh, Shimaida is looking to go to his back. Uh, Oh wow! Rolling just went straight, to, just full straight to full mount. What is I just raining here? down punches. What is happening here? Now he, he goes for the strikes this time. It is a very high full mount. Garrick is very long. I think he could he could bounce out here. He has a bit of the cage. This time a bit better control Ooh, by Hugo. nice elbow. Good defense, actually, by Gary. He stretches him out, reassesses what he can do oh, here. Very nice. Yeah, the defense of Garrick, I, I like what he's doing here. I mean, he can't do much here. He, can, he could bump out, but he, he, I won't be able to do it. Tries to control the hands. He weaves his head. Yeah. Doesn't stay a, a fixed target, so that's that's a good defense for a position like this. Oh, very and nice! <laughs> a really old school reversal here by Shababian. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, now we can see um, we can actually see Shimaida's uh, work from his guard from the back. He tired himself a bit doing this stuff. Yeah. The referee calls for a bit more action here. Shababian's working the ground and pound here. Only Ten eight seconds, seconds left. Yep. In the round. Ten seconds left. I think we won't see much more no. happening here. And this fight will go to a third. <laughs> Not quite sure if Garrick knows that it's his third round. Oh, he knows. Very nice sportsmanship. We helped keep it up. Yeah, here we see again the nice crucifix position by Shimaida. I'm actually quite surprised that he didn't manage, like here, mm. that he didn't manage to, to get a crank in or some sort of a choke in. And this reversal, I mean, they are slippery, of course, but yeah. if you have a bit more control and a bit more experience, I think you should be able to control an opponent in that position. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But then, yeah, End of the round, I think much action. overall Shimaida showed more work in the round. Okay, the end was in favor of Shababian, but I give the round 10-9 for Shimaida. I'd he did enough, same. had enough control, managed some ground and pound, so yeah, Shababian, he's really got to do something here in the third round if he wants to turn things around. His best chance would be to go back to the beginning of the fight, yep. where he, was, he, he straight away hit him with stiff jabs yeah. and some versatile striking, so I think he should stay with the striking really make something happen here. Chain his punches together, not just throw one. Two combinations. Uh, Huber, oh. knows. Huber knows what he's up to. Yeah. Closes the distance. Very nice knee to the midsection here by Shababian. He's headhunting now. Oh, very oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. That is awareness there. Yeah, the and here we go oh, again for the joke. high guillotine. He has a, a high, high guillotine. guillotine here. Oh, this is yeah, tight. This, this is, is this very is tight. Very, very tight. This Under is very tight. It's under the chin, Shababian, I think, that tries a, to lose. That is a hard choke. Don't know if he can, ex if he can no, he's not out. this one. Sh she might as look into the referee, but uh, no, no, no. Shababian's not Still out. here. Yeah. Should he pull guard here? I think she might as just, it's just, 
not tall enough. <laughs> yeah, but should he pull guard here? What do you think? Uh, I, I wouldn't. I would. Uh, no. Wouldn't it. I would like to have top control because uh, we saw him on Don't the bottom, just... and he didn't quite showed a lot of a lot of techniques from the bottom here. So Eric is out of the choke. Yep. Now. He, he could try to drag Ooh. him down. The knees are also a good idea, of course. Yep. That is nice. Nice fight awareness. Nice fight IQ. Again. He could try to drag him towards him and, and to the ground. Now it's, of course, this one is over. And Garrick with a... With a Ooh, with a very nice. And Shababin takes him down. He probably sensed like... A Hubert committed, really, really committed to that guillotine choke. He thought he had it and it's still, he's still working on it. But this won't be a position to finish that guillotine choke. I think he, he should let go of that choke. He won't. He won't be able to finish. He tires his arms out here. Mm, very nice. Now we might see some ground and pound by Shababian. Yeah. Things could go interesting. Oh, very nice butterflies. Very nice reversal here. Oh, oh, by Shimaida. And With straight the knee, to the mound. The knee across the stomach, and now Garrick has no space to move. He's straight on the cage. Does he have it in him to, to, to bring so much pressure here that, that he won't be able to, to get out here? That is the question of the fight. Well, time's running out. He's got to do something. He probably lost the first two he rounds. Goes so. for the armbar. He's, he's preparing for an armbar. Yeah, I think he's too close to the cage for the armbar. He can only go to one side. His legs will, will be tangled yeah, right. in, in the cage. He grabs the shoulder here mm. with his with his left with his right, but yeah, you you might be right. He, yeah. he might we might sense that he's too I, close to the cage. I think he should do what he's doing right now. He should create yeah. some distance just, and rain down pressure, some punches. Just punch him. Yeah. yeah, it's an old school, old school move as well. Just punch. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you cannot do any submissions, then just punch. Yeah. Very these, nice elbows here. Yeah, these short elbows. They might not look like much, but. They sure will respect you in, yeah. in, in mounting any defense. Derek still Again! Tries. He goes he for almost it. Made, yeah. he almost made it. There is an action call by the referee. I think this is enough action. This is a full mount position. I don't know what you would want Hoover to do more here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's only a minute and ten seconds he left. Can do this for a minute, I think. He has to do yeah. this for a minute. Hammer fists. Yeah. I think the referee gave some some clues to Garrick that he should do more. Yeah. If he's not intelligently defending himself, the it's referee will stop, stop the fight. fight no, it's not enough. It's right not now, enough. it's not enough. Oh, watch it, the back of the head. There you go. Oh, wow! Garrick mounts <laughs> enough power to reverse wow. Hubert again. Wow, he, just, he was Hubert just waiting. To back to the gym and work on these, these defenses. Yep, sure. he was waiting for Shimaira to totally throw a heavy barrage of punches and he used the momentum and just turned him around. But he needs to work, he's 10 seconds left. There's not much. 10 seconds is not enough, I think Hubert. No has this fight in. Yeah. Well, much respect to Garrick for fighting till the end. Very nice fight. That is an MMA fight as it should be. You had a stand-up, you had takedowns, you had submission attempts, you had good defense. It had everything you would, you would want to wish for. Thanks to Garrick and Hubert for this nice fight. You see in the replay, which where much of the third round was spent. Hubert on top, Garrick on the bottom, receiving on the receiving end of most of the punches, but he managed to reverse. He managed to get out of this awful position. Sorry. 
I don't think it was a close fight. I think Cooper should have won all three scorecards. But as you know, we're judging. Of course, we have, we have very experienced judges here tonight. I'm not quite sure how they'll judge it. They might give one. They will three success at once. They're going to Garrick, but I'm, I'm sure that three of the scorecards will go to Hubert, which will take in an unanimous decision here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges for the decision. All three judges scored a fight 30 26. For the winner by unanimous decision, Huber Shimaida. Huber with the unanimous decision.